Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Sword Randomized Nuzlocke. Nice Today, we are not saving the game. I pressed the wrong button. We are making our way to Motorstoke for our third gym. And now we're level 60, if I just straight your quarter. The world's creepiest looking policeman is trying to fight us. us. Maybe he's a nonce undercover, who knows? Okay. Perfect, see we are dark type. And this fake shit version of Mew can go to the grave. Alright, use your swift. I was like, there's a lot of damage, that was a crit, that's fine. Bye. <laughs> you suck. 32, not bad. Officer Raymond. Technique is in the bag. Uh, leave me alone, bro. I don't trust you. I think you do naughty things to children. Go away. Let's heal after that. Critical Swift. From a flipping legendary. Oh, you know what? He wants me to bicycle across, but... I want the shinies. Not just a shiny Pokemon that we got in the last episode. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Give me all the shiny wings. I think pretty feathers are pretty useless, but hey. Um, let's use these because we are in town, as you may have noticed. We made it back. Who needs more HP? Who did we give it to last time? I can't remember. No, I'm just going to give it to you. You can have two of them. Special attack, Chompy, you can have this one. Um, wait, do we have anyone who doesn't have an equipment? Nope. Everyone has an equipment. So I'm saying we could put the amulet coin on, but let me need it. So you may remember Motosote before there was a big uh, Corviknight sitting here and she was like, aha, taxis. And we weren't allowed to go this way. Yep. Hey, Bullman. Okay, he doesn't give us anything. Also, you may remember that he was going to the Budgeoo Inn, <clears throat> which is right here. So we could do that, but we're going to go heal first because uh, we're not stupid. Yep. Let's just have a slap. Another Budwin. I still haven't looked at what level Champion Jingles evolve. I believe it's 36 on average for... Okay. You're able to see where, rare Pokemon wedge her stadium now. What are you selling again? Round is the only thing. That's the oh, right. I don't want that to be a threat safeguard, protect all health and hand, to be honest. No, I'm good, bro. Um, let's go back into here. I don't know why the Jing Jong Lung Dong did on the bells, but anyway. Oh, Marini, Mariani, Marunu, whatever. What's your name again? Marnie. There we go. Uh, change of victor, right? I'll give it your all at this late, even, huh? Hey, help me with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next look at the gym challenge. Uh, alright. Wicked, you got some fighting, yeah? Like, they don't even hide the fact that Team Yell are f working for her. Anyway, train the Marine. Mar I already forgot your name. Oh, your name doesn't matter what your name is. It doesn't matter what your name is. Noctowl. I feel awful if I lose, but there's no way I'm gonna. Yep, you are. I'm gonna say, watch the Noctowl outspeed and uh, hypnosis me. Oh, you're reflecting instead. That's alright. Protect from physical attacks. Oh no, whatever will I do? My special dragon breath. Are oh, you gonna heal? What a biatch. Get parried. Get parried. Get parried, come on. Yeah, boy. Now I'm gonna get greedy on you. Zion scared of you owl. Does that just copy my... Unless you swap? 
Eh. That's what Psycho Shift does. Alright. I'm certainly scared of you. Just cure the paralysis myself, I guess. So it's getty. That was a crit. You can't do more than a crit, can you? Fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna heal. I don't care. How about you? The threat wore off, baby. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to use two super potions though, because uh, it's only gonna do 50. Now, if he doesn't crit here... There we go. I won't need to heal. Because I have to take this next attack. And you ain't reflected this time, baby. Mm-hmm. Sorry about your luck. Carvana. I don't swap him. I don't believe you can do anything to hurt me, so I'm just going to heal anyway, because 22 HP is not good to be sitting on when if Pokemon fades, you can never use them again. Um, Ice Fang. Oh, you can do something to me, huh? Alright. Maybe you should have started with that. Got me into a full sense of security and then ice fanged me. I mean, cool. I want mine to sue defense, so I have to be careful. A Charizard, huh? You copying Lee? I still maintain his name should have been Hip. Because then it could have been Hip Hop, and it would have made more sense. Although there would have probably been. May be considered a little insensitive because they are, um, you know, not white. But either way. Uh, I've got a swap for Charles, just to be safe. I'm predicting it's a Charizard, but it could be a Charizard X, a Charizard Y. It could be a... Could it be a Gigantamax Charizard? I don't know. I don't think so. It'd be no fun if things just ended yet. That's why I think I ain't giving up. Charlie's a do. Regular Charlie's a do. Do you know how scary it would be if they get to keep their their starters? Like this was her starter was a Charizard. Because she would get Gigantamax Charizard at the end of the game. Like, oh. Oh. Anyway. Meh. You beat me. Uh, I guess you might not be that bad after all, huh? After uh, all. Oh, damn time. Doll is evolving? I don't have a layout to edit in this game. It's so cool. Oh, I don't have to do it to Violet either. Oh, thank you, God. And I'm doing Scarlet after this, probably. If I can randomize it. I don't think I can randomize the next gen, current gen, by the way. I don't think you can. I'll look into it. Anyway, we have. Gotharita, the manipulate Pokemon. It is said that when the stars shine in the night sky, this Pokemon will spirit away sleeping children. Some call it the Witch of Punishment. Oh, that sounds so nice. Spirit away sleeping children, the Witch of Punishment. Right, okay. I guess I better go to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get some sleep too. Ooda, 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 ooda. Muda, 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 muda. <laughs> You thought it was more Peko, but it was me, Dio. Okay. The next morning. Uh, morning, Victor. Okay. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Kapu's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies. So I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's, it's no big deal. It's not that I like you, and I was thinking about you all night. Uh, take, take this too. A little something for our battle yesterday. Burn Hills. Beep. You're the other one who got burnt. You done? 
I bet you have no trouble beating the man of fire Kabu chap, right? Why don't you get off to Motosau Stadium and get that gym badge already? Ura ura ura. Ura ura ura. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's what I intend to do. I'm the best around. Right. This gym is a bit interesting. Because there is a little thing about this gym that you don't understand. So, there's a reason we're leaving the snips, right? You'll see when we get in there. Slow moving, aren't you, Victor? I've already got and earned my fire badge. That man of fire, Kabu, is just what you would expect. I nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. I'll get a shift on, Victor. I bet you could beat the man of fire, too. <laughs> Wait, why is Hop inside the gym? Didn't he just leave? Am I that sick? My brain ain't working. Why is Hop just... Why is Hop here? Why, why are you here? Hi, Victor. I was on fire in my battle against that camo. Okay. There ain't many gym challenges. I mean, that's not good when you got eight gyms and your third gym, everyone's quitting. Yep, it will be a bit different, but upside down ass, as our name is in the Pokemon world, apparently. Um, do you see what I see? Grass, Pokeballs, Pokemon in the wild. What is this? The mission for the Gym of Fire is this, catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you're wondering, you earn one point for defeating Pokemon in the tall grass. You'll get two points for catching the Pokemon, but you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack our points. Gym mission start. I don't think you can lose this though. So, hey. Ah, Shell Goblin. We can catch these Pokemon. <coughs> na, 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 na. Na, 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 I'm gonna full swipe. I'm gonna energy ball the mud kit. Bitch. Yeah, a bit. It does mean it's a one on one, and that done quite a bit of damage. I don't really want the shell gone, so I'm just gonna energy ball him because he resists. So I'm, I'm gonna go a bit more all out on him. Wow, wow, wow. That done nice damage. Him be crunching. Oh lord, him be crunching. I got a heal now. Oh, and I got the defense drop as well. How nice. Um. If he's crunching, oh lordy crunching, there's no good option for this, but. Ah, that's you. Keep crunching, bro. Argon breath, okay, that's good. I'll resist that. At least. Don't para, please. How you get a crit? And the para? You're a hoe. I'm sorry, your whole, your whole line are hoes. Why am I pressing? I want to heal up. <clears throat> Our oh boy snips. Doo, 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 doo. And another crit, you're a hole and a half. Right, let's get this power off. I don't like being powered. But. back into snip and I'm gonna full swipe him now we'll try and catch him because these count as static encounters technically we have to fight them for the gym challenge we have no choice but the thing I guess you're supposed to do is watch out because your your gym challenge with the trainer is that the trainer can obviously use 
their Pokemon to keep attacking. Oh. So that they could knock out the Pokemon for you. I mean, it says five points. You get one for defeating and you get... That'll do. That'll do nicely, actually, to be honest. <clears throat> Dog and breath. No worries, baby. Now the worries. Um, sure. It's a Pokeball, but... Uh, it's going to be a butthole to catch, by the way. It's still a Sado Legendary mid-evolved. Uh, no, let's not waste those. Let's waste our heal balls. Because we got... He's not going to be easy to catch. And I don't want to waste my great balls on him, to be honest. Now, imagine, though... Ooh, that's close. Um, we don't need to be you anymore, anyway. Um, Jirla, you can come back in. <laughs> got better defences. You resist two of his moves as well. Let's go facing the problem. Right. Imagine if heal balls actually healed them. So like you threw a heal ball and the risk was like if they break out they're fully healed. That would be hilariously bad. Sixty-one to forty-one does twenty points of damage. Oh no, 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 no! Fat thumbing just just killing it after all this time. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. There you go. Good boy. Um. Yeah, sure. Case. Nice simple name. Your jet. There you go. Changer games two points. Right, before the next one, let's heal up again. Almost lost snip to the gym challenge, not the actual fight, but that would have been super bad because I don't think we have a replacement for snip. Make sure everyone's nice and healthy. Over here, you may see there's a Vulpix. Which is... Bye, Bazaar! That's actually going to be annoying to catch as well. Oh, hello, Katakana. That's a problem. Isn't Katakana still... Um, still grass? Uh, that's four times... How do we... Alright, we're gonna have to try and kill this Katakana. Katakana's not gonna die to one hit, right? Nope. Oh, Katakana's going for full swipe on me! You bastard! Ah, oh, you unholy bastard! Critical hit! Your mom sucks eggs, man. Ugh. Oh, no. Don't. Please don't. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. You've used full swipe and cut, and you're using take down. None of those moves can touch this boy. No! Oh, you smelly boo bag. You smelly boo bag, man. What are you doing? Don't do it. Right, get rid of this arsehole real quick. Thank you. Sea bomb. Not bad. What level is this boy? Oh no, a liar, man. Let's have two Pokemon. Get out of here with your nonsense. You can see bombed again. Come on, man. I just want to. Oh, critical hit. Again. How many critical hits is this gym flipping going to use? Huh? 
We're almost going to lose Snip every single one of these matches. Oh, come on. Let's go. Sleep high. You're taking the piss. Do you think the game knows? It's like, you want this as a replacement, don't you? You want this as a replacement for Snip. So we're going to run your cheeks. I keep sleep bombing, sleep bombing me, it's fine. Right, we're going to swap back into Snips now that I'm not getting triple teamed. Don't know what I was thinking about things there. Are you going to take down me or are you going to sleep bomb me? If you go for sleep powder, you're an arsehole, but anyway. Feed Bob, okay. That's fine. Can't hit him, though, because same problem, he's got takedown. And if he uses takedown after I get him to 1 HP, he dies, because he hits himself. Or he just stays in the ball. Free ball, but baby! Very good. Um, I'll go with the OG name. Oh, shit. No, no. Overgrowth. There we go. One more point. Probably make sure they're fully healed because I almost died in every match. Um, probably going to lose Lumiere, to be honest. Or should I lead with Jeweler? I'm gonna lead with Jeweler actually. This is the Jeweler. Because I need to take out the opponent's Pokemon before I try and catch this thing. So let's see. Mudkip. Another starter Pokemon. Interesting. Machamp. Hmm. Hmm. I need to take out this Machamp real quick. Thank you. I'm weak to water though, and I'm weak to ground. Mudkip is dumb. What else you got? Goventula? <laughs> but. Right, he's been bodied. Although the use of takedown. The use of takedown is worrying because, again, it means that. Um, We can't really do much to him because. <sighs> because he can hurt himself, which is a problem. Unless we had such a high. You're missing Metal Claw twice! Come on, man! What the hell is this? You're gonna get a crit now. Sorry, the 95% accuracy move missed twice. Don't worry. What, take down? No worries. I've actually done decent amount of damage since I'm a steel type. Um, I'm going to heal because I'm not stupid. Just in case he gets a crit water pile, since it's got three crits in two fights. Don't fancy taking another crit, to be honest. Wish you a crit one of those. Right, I'm going to start throwing balls because I've got no choice. Works better on water type, so I want to get rid of these heal balls first anyway. Because I'm never going to use them. Instead of selling them, let's see if we can do anything with them. Obviously, the answer is no. I need him to take down, though. Keep heel balling. Every day we're balling. We always balling. We keep balling. We ball for life. These are doing shit, this boy. He is not going to take down anytime soon because he's, he's super effective. Right. We need to swap. Uh, probably Chumpy, because we resist water, probably the best choice. We're likely to get a, uh, well, excuse me, a takedown from him, Oop. as you can see, does nothing. All right, netball time. You're a water type, please stay in the wall. 
Nope. Please go for take it down. Oh, supersonic, okay. Ah, let's throw a Pokeball. You know why? Lure balls are better by a mile than using that. So, if we throw a Pokeball, don't know why it does so well. It will lure the takedown like that. Oh, that done quite a lot. Um, now, less HP for the netball. Which just breaks out without even rolling because it makes sense. That's about 20 points of damage each time, by the way. Um, a bit weird, but I think we should keep swapping Pokemon. Better than healing, because... Meh. I think Jingles takes a takedown better, but... Oh, he went for Water Pulse, okay. Maybe because we were lower HP. Do you want to catch this boy, though? If we can. Come on. Yeah, boy! Two starters. Uh-huh. Aha, uh -huh, so you're legendary. Aha. Uh -huh. Very nice. And with that, we win the gym challenge and the right to... Oh. Um... I don't really have a name for Swampert. What do we call a Swampert? You know what? I can't think of a funny name for a Swampert, so you're going to be called Jim. <laughs> Jim has been sent to the box. Yay, the mission is cleared. Yay. Clearing Cabo's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. No, we shall be facing Cabo, the leader of the fire gym. Go on, Challenger. I will consume all these trainers' souls. Right. Alright, I was like, why is the music doing that? Before we take on Big Boy, we need to heal everyone up. Because going into a gym battle with no HP would be absolutely terrible. And we are going to be leading with Chompy again. His brother Chomps is going to be at the front. There we go. Also, I'm going to save because we caught this Pokemon. And I do not want the game to crash at any point. I have to do all that again. They would be the same Pokemon, though, luckily this time. Not like the Shiny. Which could be not Shiny next time you fight him. Let's take on Kabu. Why am I playing with my hair? No one gives a shit. Also, why are a crowd watching this? Also, why is Kabu next to us? Don't they come out the other side? Why does he run like that? So strange. Okay. Welcome. I am Kabu, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you have bested both Milo's Grass-type Pokémon and Nessus Water-types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokémon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In that end, this match is decided by which I is able to unleash their true potential. Okay. Cool. It's a diglet. I don't care. Diglet, 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 dig, diglet, 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 dig, diglet, diglet, dig, 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 dig. I actually bite this boy because sand attack. Oh, slash as well. That sand attack is my biggest worry. I do not want accuracy drops as I'm trying to sup. But plus Diglett has no defense or HP. So Ezzy Pezzy for me. Cremunch! Do we even need Headbot? 60 with 25 or 80. I'll get rid of Headbot for now. I'm not gonna lie. Headbot's not worth it. Farofetchtu. I'm gonna stay on far fetched. Is it Galarian or regular? Oh, it's Galarian. Well, I'm gonna swap out. <laughs> oh, let me just double check though. Yeah, it's a fine type. Um, 
I wasn't sure if Sh Sir Fetch was fighting flying or if this thing was fighting flying. They're both fighting flying. Um. Um. You never really have a good type flying type would probably be Driller, but he's he's weak to fight in. I think he has a dark move. I think he has brutal swing. Let's show Lumia. Why not? Dun, 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 dun. If he goes for a fighting or a normal move, he's in trouble. I suspect a fighting move, right? Detect. Oh, you a bitch. Okay. Ember. Brutal swing, he does. That's not hurt. It's not too bad. Brutal swing's fine. Was he trying to get a surf fetch and he failed? So you gotta get like 30 critical hits with far fetch and then it evolves into surf fetch or something stupid. Snow likes you know, man, them don't know about that. Um, I ain't got any fighting moves. I ain't got anything that's super effective on this boy. Uh, oh, uh, oh. We gotta go Driller. We gotta go full power. Snorlax is gonna take this. Ooh, do you think it would be a Gigantamax Snorlax though? Is it gonna get big or is it gonna have a forest on its belly? Because that's gonna be interesting. Light that fire and get your mind moving, Capo. There must be a path to victory. Oh, you know what? That's remembered time. I said, why did the first two have random shitty Pokemon? He's the first that Gigantamax is, they just Dynamax. So I wonder if that's what's gonna happen here. So what's this? 130, 130, 100. Raises defense, summons a Sandstorm. Raises special, I don't have to do that, Sandstorm is good for me. I'm a steel type and a ground type. I want Sandstorm in the air. I want it up. It's very good for me, brother. So does that mean that they're all actually going to have Gigantamax forms now? Let's find out. Burn bright center scorch. Let Gigantamax change your size and form. I think this is going to be a Gigantamax Snorlax, actually. It is. It's got the little forest on his belly. Aww. He's so fat and lazy, he basically got moss growing him and a little tree coming out his belly button. I'm going to drop a giant tombstone on his head. And it's not going to do a ton of damage because, you know, Snorlax. But it sets up the Sandstorm, which is kicking our ability. That's fine. Raises his defense though, doesn't it? I lose my defense. Oh, Spadef. You get buffeted by the Sandstorm. Don't I get an effect in the Sandstorm though? Boost Pokemon speed in the Sandstorm. Doesn't say much about him. I'm gonna go for Max Quake because it raises my Spadef. And you just dropped. You, you, you. Our first actual challenging guy, and he went down two shots. Anyway, we burnt your tree to the ground. That was interesting. Driller got to 33. Snips got to 34. Here, yeah. that was a cool way to end the episode. So we know now that the rest of the gym leaders are, are going to have Gigantamax bombs. Yay! No! Great Pokemon, the great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Yeah. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent surpasses my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. <laughs> I know that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you the fire badge as proof that you defeated me. I don't clap your cheeks. I can now catch Pokemon up to level 35. 
Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our battles have become part of the Tialar region's culture, and you're the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you help it become stronger and better. Uh, we adults will be the pillars for you to build on. I mean, you're supposed to be older, so you got grey hair. Ragtar. Oh, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Dino would be the ones, but still, that match had the me right at the edge of my seat. Okay. Challenger Victor. No, I see you've done a fine job collecting the grass gems from the, the grass water fire gems. Please take this to commemorate what you did today. Willow Fisp. Terrible. Just terrible. Yep, it causes a burn. Take Cabbage Uniform. I don't know why this demonic, red eyed, weird guy is giving it to us, but whatever. I think you've proven your skills enough to try your hand at the gems that are way too, starting with the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to Wild Era, surround the city, and make your way to Havelock. With all the badges we earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright against the fierce Pokemon deep in the Wild Area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Yeah, Wild Area Part 2 is coming up. However, I don't think we get any more cutscenes. Oh no, I am risking a cutscene, and I run straight into one. Okay. What if I didn't want to go here? Hurry up, Victor. Huh? You're the gym leader, but you came all the way to see us off. Oh, I bet you can tell I'm already the one who will become the next champion, yes? There are many trainers who have never managed to gather three gym badges and just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make it a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Phew, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Victor, hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing that you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers were able to get a gym badge from Kabu. I think that was his voice, right? <laughs> We'd like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So allow me to send you all through the proper sporty chant. Oh god, I'm not singing. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, Vixor. The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thank you all. We're going to keep winning, even if we have to face off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Victor, let's head to Hammerlock. Ugh, such an arsehole. I like how at no point is it asked us if we want to do this. It just forced us back into the world area. Hello again, Ron Larry, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Victor, Hammerlock is our bad way, got it? Yep, you go under the bridge. You go over that bridge and under the big bridge. And yes, you could certainly rush straight there without a single thing at all, but now you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. Don't need to. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be fine catching myself an amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page into my town of legends. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you two would make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems that Hoppy can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish, more like you don't know how to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll batter you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then. You know I challenged Victor to battle in Gallon number two, and I lost to him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this practice about Victor, prattle about Victor and the champion and whatnot. Do you, oh, that's him speaking. All this prattle about Victor and the champion and whatnot. Do you have nothing of your own to show? I'll show you this Wally, my real skills in battle. See you later, Victor. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. <coughs> Well, I'm coming down with sickness. So yeah, the game wants us basically to run over, you know. Oh, things have changed in the wild area. Um, we could technically go over there a little bit. We can go catch a Pokemon from up there now, and we have a bicycle. Um, I'm going to quickly head over here. I don't think anything has changed in terms of the Pokemon that appear. Oh, no, they have. Oh, no, because the weather's changed, sorry. When the weathers change, so do the Pokemon. So, like, I think this one's the same, isn't it? What the hell? Oh, that's um, 
the hell is that thing called again? Dark Fairy. Grimmsnarl. I think we can finally catch a Pokemon over here. No Tapu Koko. I don't think I should because I think I already encountered Pokemon here. This is the Watchtower Ruins, by the way. The fuck are you? No, I'm not taking a budgie, bro. Sorry. There's a Porygon Z. I don't think I can catch any of these to be fair. Because as I said, I think I'm not going to mess around. But wasn't there a, Z um, a thing over here? Like, wasn't there a light for a, for a raid battle here? Am I losing my mind? So I thought there was one over here. Oh, there it is. Down there. It's a flying goat. As is tradition. Oh, see, a cedar's back. So what are you? There's just a Reshiram here. Okay. What would you do against a Reshiram? Like... <laughs> Dragon Fire? You don't have a fairy. Although he resists fairy. His only weakness is really dragon, but... Eh, you think I'm going with a level 32? Oh, it'll be easy. This is the first area, but... If we were to go in right now, I think this guy's about, like, on par with us. I think they are level 30s. So, I say we go in with Driller. I'm just going to go in just for an example. Just to show you all. Oh, for God's sake. No, I don't want to... Is it going to completely kick me out? Oh, my God. No, oh man, I'm spamming the button by mistake, sorry. Swap. Driller. Select. Don't invite others. We'll leave our fate up to the Pokemon gods. And so remember how like, we were having some troubles before. Oh, I'm not gonna catch this boy even if we do beat him. I don't think we're gonna beat him at all. And this doesn't count as a loss, I'm just showing you, for example. There is a Groudon right there. And he's just about buffing this Reshiram's um, fire moves. Awesome, I'm going to die in one shot from this guy. But he uses, like, max flame burst or whatever it is. Alright. And Bob, this, this, this is an Excadrill who's level 32. I can't remember already, I've forgotten. You know, Dig Gigantamaxing using Stamp Sand Boosted Super Effective Max Strike for the 33. Cub Chew is enduring. I would advise you to do that. Right, Max Quake. Oh, that one shot? Okay. Meh. Ah, uh, should I throw a Pokeball for fun? I don't think we should catch this because we've already got a catch for this area, so I'm not going to catch it. We got 5 XP candy, S, XS, one S, one uh, C. Seed Bomb's not bad. Maybe they haven't put them up yet. They, they do usually put them up, but I'm going to be heading back over. Yeah, by the way, get out of my way. Well, we have Dino at the front, though, so I don't know. Oh, hello, Tapu Koko, by the way. Get out of my way. I hear Badoos. Budding off. I could just go into... Um, I could just go into Excadrill and just take out Tapu Koko's for fun, though, if I wanted to. Grim Snarl, pretty good. Flying Corfish. Random Terrakians. Oh, there's more raids over here now. Oh, there's a super raid over there. Unfortunately, that's the area where they're super high leveled. So we'll have a quick look at what these are. Fire? Oh, that's a Turtonator. Um. No, I'm good. I'm going to fight these off screen. Um, just to get some XP candies and all that kind of stuff. Can come in handy if we ever catch a new Pokemon. Could have a suck at them. S is next. S is not that good to be honest. And in the next episode, we will start off by heading to the new wild area. So thank you for watching today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it and enjoy us next time. But for now, goodbye. <laughs>